Well, that's a nice spring weather across the area over the past few days. However, it looks like we're turning cooler, more unsettled. Let's head through the next several days. Think eastward, maybe enter the forecast across portions of the area. I'll show you where in just a moment. Then at the impacts today, we'll stay fairly mild across the area today, especially those of us east of the Continental Divide. Some showers around in the morning. They will become more numerous as we head through the day, though. The most numerous probably across the western portions of the state today. That'll shift over towards central Wyoming as we head toward Friday. We'll turn cooler as well. About 20 degrees cooler. It's not going to be really, really cold out there, but it will be noticeable, especially if the wind's blowing. And our snow levels, today they're going to stay fairly high, maybe about 10,000 feet or higher, but falling down to about 7,500 feet on Friday night. So it could be some travel impacts, places like Togadi Pass, Teton Pass, maybe even South Pass. We may need some uh, advisories or warnings as we head toward that time frame. The steady precipitation falling during the nighttime hours. It will continue into Saturday as well before it all begins to taper off at night, especially after the midnight hour. Now some uh, ranges as far as how much snowfall we're going to get. One thing I want you to notice here, most of the lower elevations, this is not going to be a snow event for us. Dubois may pick up a little bit of snow here, but even here it looks like it's going to be mainly on the grassy areas. And all these areas really, if it gets a little cooler than we think and you get a heavy period of uh, precipitation, it could change over to snow briefly. You could get a small accumulation on the grass, but not really a lot of road impacts. But the uh, mountains, very good chance of seeing at least an inch. Now when I bumped this up to six inches, see the area really shrinks there. Very small chance of maybe six inches around Dubois. Temperatures are a little borderline there. They're up at about, say, 7,300 feet there, very close to the 7,500 foot mark. But the most affected areas out of this, probably the Bighorns, the Azurkas, and the most affected area, probably the Wind River Range, especially the eastern slopes with that northeasterly flow upsloping against them. Now, the big story for most of us across the lower elevations is going to be. Uh, how much rain we're to get out of this. It's been very, very dry here. Many of us are in a drought situation, so this will really help things out here. Now, this is going to fall over several days. This is going to fall all at once. So as far as flooding concerns, I can't rule out some minor flooding, maybe some ponding in some of those areas that tend to do that if you get a period of heavy rain, but this will fall over several days. Now, this about everybody could pick up a quarter inch across this area. You see, basically, say about a Cody, the Thermopolis line, maybe over to Casey and South, Pitching up maybe a half an inch of rain over the period, maybe locally up to an inch. But the heaviest rain I think out of this, we wait some of these small scale features with the system we're tracking. Winter or basic could do really well on this. Maybe Riverton down toward Lander, maybe picking up one to two inches of rain over the next few days. Maybe locally up to three inches of precipitation. That'll be made rain and snow across some of the higher elevations of the mountains. And as our resources, you want weather, just go to our website, weather.gov slash RAW. If you want road conditions, wildroad.info on the web. If you want to call them on the phone, 511 in state, 188 wild road out of state. Be safe, everybody. Enjoy your day.